under the cover of darkness an urgent mission to bring infected people to safety. Both communities have now been placed in a hard lockdown. In the searing 40 degree heat, they'll be confined to these homes. With food and supports delivered at a distance by rapid response teams, a hard measure that could remain in place for weeks. This is a camp in Siberia. Scores of Russians are being kept here. Surely this government is aware of the intentions to build these isolation camps from coast to coast. And my question to the Premier is, how many of these camps will be built? And how many people does this government expect to do? Question. What was it like for you and your, your family inside this quarantine hotel? Can you, can you describe what you went through? Day seven. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was an extremely difficult and, you know, onerous and traumatic process for, for myself and our two daughters. As 2022 begins, the great reset rollout of predetermined COVID quarantine camps is digging its claws into the blue dictatorships of the United States. As InfoWars' Jamie White reports, the state of Washington may amend a law to allow the forcible detainment of residents into COVID internment camps for defying state vaccine mandates. The proposed revision to the COVID protocol under the Communicable and Certain Other Diseases Act would grant local health officers at his other sole discretion to issue an emergency detention order causing a person or group of persons to be immediately detained for purposes of isolation or quarantine. As 2022 begins, the great reset rollout of predetermined COVID quarantine camps is digging its claws into the blue dictatorships of the United States. As InfoWars' Jamie White reports, the state of Washington may amend a law to allow the forcible detainment of residents into COVID internment camps for defying state vaccine mandates. The proposed revision to the COVID protocol under the Communicable and Certain Other Diseases Act would grant local health officers at his other sole discretion to issue an emergency detention order causing a person or group of persons to be immediately detained for purposes of isolation or quarantine. Additionally, the measure would allow law enforcement to assist public health officials in detaining residents who refused the COVID injection. This alarming measure comes in tandem with Governor Jay Inslee's effort to hire strike teams to run quarantine camps. Outlined in the state's governmentjobs.com website, a term that has since been scrubbed from the website sometime after the bulletin was posted in September 2021. Notably, the Communicable and Certain Other Diseases Act was certified on October 25, 2019, just months before the COVID-19 pandemic began in January of 2020. Omicron is very contagious, much more contagious than the Delta uh, variant, and it's rapidly overtaking the Delta variant already in, uh, in the infections in the state of Washington, as well as nationally. Meanwhile, New York Governor Kathy Hochul attempts to pass a similar bill allowing authorities to forcibly detain anyone she deems a public health threat. A bill called A-9416 would allow the governor or the appropriate health official to order the removal and detention of any person afflicted with a communicable disease in the event that there is a state of health emergency declared by the governor in relation to such disease. It goes on to say that any person or group removed or detained by order of the governor or his or her delegate shall be detained for as long as the department may direct. We are not through this pandemic. I wished we were. But I prayed a lot to God during this time. And you know what? God did answer our prayers. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers. He made them come up with a vaccine. That is from God. Say thank you, God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say I'm vaccinated. Washington State Board of Health will hold a virtual public meeting on January 12th to discuss the implementation to the revision of the COVID protocol under the Communicable and Certain Other Diseases Act.